everybody, this is Rebecca Tatila with the Roma Hut Institute and today I want to start a new series on talking about natural perfume making with essential oils. So in this video, I want to talk about what is in a perfume accord. Now, up till now, I've been talking about making blends, doing DIY recipes, and we really didn't pay attention too much to whether or not it was built on a composition of top, middle, and base. Sometimes we would have multiple notes, and it was always a little bit different based on what we wanted it to smell like and maybe some of the chemistry behind it that we were more concerned with. But when it comes to a perfume, now this is gonna be a totally different thing. And so what we're going to be looking at is the perfume accord and there's different types of accords, but I want to just sort of give you a little bit of an introductory to this. So a perfume accord is a combination of fragrant notes that collectively form the core structure or the backbone of the perfume. And this is what professional perfumers call the juice. Now, typically an accord is made up of three to four notes, which would be your top note, your middle note, and your bottom note or your bass note. And in perfumery, accords are like chords in a music. You will see that there's different tones and when they're blended together, they are harmoniously form a new entirely different thing. And this new scent is sort of like a melody. So just think of it like the art and science coming together, building this accord, and it can be compared to almost like a painting where you're taking colors and you're overlapping them. Or if you were to say, let's look at maybe even food coloring, you drop the color of red into the water and then maybe you wanna add some blue and voila, you have a new color, it's purple. Or let's say you take yellow and you add some blue in, and now you have a color green. Well, this is the way it is with perfume. Your composition is a process, and they wanna lose their individual identity because they're forming a whole new thing in your perfume. And that's what makes it fun. So the key of creating something is that it can stand alone, and that when you smell it, you're not smelling individual notes, you're smelling one component, one composition, and that's the beauty of it. When you're not able to detect those individual notes, that means you've done your job, right? <laughs> so that's why many people uh, spend hours and hours on trying to find that perfect combination, that marriage of sense that brings it together flawlessly, and that it's something that it's gonna be used again and again. So when we get started in our blending of our chords, we're gonna actually have those set aside because what we're gonna do is use those as the backbone of our blend, and then we'll be introducing other fragrances into the uh, composition. There are many perfumes that use the same backbone uh, accord, if you will, and then they add other things in to create a whole new product. And so let's get started then in doing that. How to create a perfume accord. Now, this is gonna be different in the blending by notes technique. And that particular technique that we were using for therapeutic blending, we were using the three, two, one method, which was three drops of top note to two drops of middle note to one drop of face note. Now, this is gonna be entirely different. So I don't wanna confuse you on that. But the structure of an accord is like that of a pyramid. And so in this case, the base note is going to be the largest part of your blend with approximately 30 to 55% of your blend. Now, even though this is the largest part of the total fragrance and it tends to last the longest, it usually doesn't appear until after the dry down. So, we talked about the dry down in another video. Check out that link if you want to learn more about that. Now the middle note is going to make up 20 to 30% of your blend. And this is going to create that heart of the fragrance. 
top notes will make up the smallest proportion of your blend because it's at the top and this is going to be between 15 and 40 percent of your fragrance i know that's a big variation there so you're going to find there's a lot of variations especially online when you're looking at different sources who are telling you about what they consider to be the correct proportions i did a lot of research on this trying to find it but really you got to follow your nose and you got to see what works for you what you enjoy and what you like so some experts will suggest using the 40 30 30 ratio which would be for the top middle and base notes respectfully okay so 40 percent on your top note and then your middle and base note are basically the same at 30 percent each now you of course can adjust those percentages as you need to and in certain cases you're going to want to it's going to be necessary because sometimes top notes will get lost in it in my next video i'm going to be actually making a vertical blend with you and then we'll be able to practice this together see you in our next video don't forget to subscribe to our channel we would love to see you again bye bye